Alright, this is the second battery I've seen. 1938 Battery Davis. Some kind of thoroughfare. I'm not sure if that was what it was designed to be, but it would make sense if it was. To serve as a bunker house. Area closed for your safety. <clears throat> I guess they don't want people to go down to the edge. <clears throat> <laughs> and there's a guy that just emerged from the bushes. So many people here. Unbelievable. Alright. That's pretty cool. And there's like four or five people down there on the beach. So there's a lot of activity. This is San Francisco. <clears throat> Alright, just kind of looking around here. A major washout on the road. <clears throat> well, this is like dog park or something. Some of the dogs. <clears throat> My legs are especially itchy this morning. It's, that damn poison ivy is really coming through. I tried washing it a little bit. So I used a little water from my water bottle to just wipe my leg and the irritation has been reduced about 70% so that's pretty good washing really helps being so grimy is really difficult to deal with all I can think about right now is I just want to go to that mall find whatever store I want to get sure I want to get a shirt underwear socks new pants I want it all it's not going to be cheap, it's going to really kill me, but man, I could use it. This Monday is supposed to be the eclipse day. I don't think it's going to be that effective or noticeable in the foggy San Francisco area. It'll just be, it'll just, it's already d pretty dark. This school fills up all the bleachers. <laughs> Okay, so if there if, if there's an eclipse on Monday at 10 o'clock, they really got these students at this high school set up for that. They're all outside. It's 10 minutes before 10. If it does if it does get dark, which wow, what a phenomena, then it'll be the start of their school year and a lasting impression. Just bleachers fall. So I think she's standing at one of the goal posts. You know, I'm amazed how my police videos have not gotten any reduced, uh, like, at monetization. And I think it's, it's Google's uh, encouragement to be hostile to police. To question police, I guess, to be hostile to them. Because there's a lot of city, silly videos that have lost monetization, but not really any cop ones. Alright, I'm interested in going on a big bicycle ride uh, tomorrow, but there's a street cleaning from 7 to 8. And usually I want to take off between 7 and 8, so this is disrupting. I don't know where to put my car, because if I put it in the uh, mall parking lot, I don't know if I want to be parked there all day while I bicycle. I could, maybe. I don't know what they would do to me, though. Alright, so these bumps right here are in, a, are in a weird line pattern. I don't know if that's because of the the poison ivy or what, but this this is like fluid sacks, and all I have to do is poke it with a needle and then drain it. But why are they why are they forming? You know, this pita bread is about the only common bread that they don't add a ton of sugar. You just have to switch to pita bread. I was listening to a little conversation while uh, in front of Trader Joe's. I think it was all employees. They were sitting out front waiting for the eclipse to happen. And one girl, like, waited long enough or something. She, she's 
she had to get back to her cash register, but she was like, okay guys, I gotta go, I gotta get back to my reg. She called her register a reg. I thought that was odd. And it's like, you know, there are people out there who want to talk their own way and only have a small group understand what they say. And that's probably what makes foreign speaking so attractive. Spanish, Russian, Chinese, they don't mind that not everybody understands what they say. Because they, they like it that way. And just like people who speak English using words that only certain people will understand within their culture, work culture, family culture, whatever culture, they'll speak in ways that only the small circle of people will understand. It's just people's preferences. The mosquitoes around here are very tiny and they can slip through the smallest of cracks. I thought I had them fooled last night, but a few of them still got through and, and got me. Only about six or seven people got tickets, uh, missing that seven to eight time frame for the street cleaning. Hmm. Huh.